am really honestly stressed out right now. I just looked and Christmas is in 10 days. And I have two shows, one in two days. And I have another one five days before Christmas. So yeah, I have a lot to prep for. Usually I'm feeling a little bit more prepared this time of year, but I just had an event that I sold way more at than I thought I would. And I'm not complaining. It's definitely a good problem to have to be low on inventory. But the next market I have is actually at my grandma's retirement home. And the pressure is kind of on because she's been hyping it up to her friends that I'm going to have all the trees. I'm going to have all the snowmen. And I have told her yet but after my last show I only have one tree and one snowman left so today I'm hoping that we can be productive together in today's vlog and just get a lot of things prepped specifically holiday items for my holiday shows and we are just gonna be as productive as we possibly can today my show is in two days so the pressure is really on right now also I need to work on all the things in the living room because my living room is it's just been taken over by crochet, honestly, at this point. And I want to have space for my friends and I to hang out tonight for our Secret Santa gift exchange. So crossing my fingers, I can get a lot done today. Now my plan today is to make a lot more of my trees. So I've been using the pattern from MJ's Off The Hook Designs. I will link it in the description box down below. There is a free version, like a free tutorial version for the smallest size. And then the rest of the sizes is a paid pattern, but definitely worth it. I love, love, love this pattern. It sells really well at shows. It specifically sells really well with the snowman pattern that I have as well, which I'm planning on making some of those as well. So I have a bunch of snowman men and trees that are halfway made so we're gonna try to fill all of those I just grabbed some new polyfill yesterday so we are going to fill all of those finish them up then I'm gonna take you through and show you behind the scenes of me pricing the trees for my shop I have sold a few this year but it was just last year's pricing and I kind of want to do an updated pricing strategy just double check I'm making enough for my time on the trees so we are gonna do that today as well I'm gonna take you to the living room and just show you <laughs> show you what we're working with right now. There's a lot going on in there right now, but I just wanted to invite you. If you have some things to work on for your business and Christmas is coming up and who else? Raise your hand. Who else decided to hand make a bunch of gifts this year? Definitely feeling the overwhelm, but I, yeah, I just want to invite you to be productive with me in today's vlog. Grab something to work on. Today's probably going to be a bit of a longer one. So I'm going to take you to the living room and show you show you what I'm talking about. It's, it's a lot going on right now. Hi, are you gonna help us? <laughs> Hi, you gonna help? Okay, so it actually doesn't look as crazy as I thought, but a lot of it I have shoved in the craft room too. We have here a snowman body. We have a snowman head, a chicken body. <laughs> These are all chicken bodies. These are trees that need finish. My Lumos knitting light, by the way, I'm obsessed with my Lumos knitting light because I sit here, I binge Gilmore Girls, at least recently I've been binging Gilmore Girls. I have my light and I just have the coziest crochet sessions. I have my yarn bag full of more whips. I have this big thing of polyfill that I had Peyton grab for me. I did an online order and had Peyton pick up this big thing of polyfill. So we've got five pounds. And then I also got more yarn if we have time to make some trees, actually. I need to time myself and see how long each size of the trees take me. Right now I'm just doing these small and the medium sizes. So we're gonna probably sit down and do that pretty soon here because we're gonna need to know how long this size takes me and this size takes me in order to come up with my pricing. So we will need to time from start to finish finishing those. All of this needs finished. So we've got a lot going on right now. Are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? First thing I think I'm gonna do is grab the rest of my works and progresses that I have going on in the craft room and just take it all out here. Now can you see though why I won't be able to have my friends over and like I'm planning on having food out for them? Right now it's just yarn. So we're gonna have to clear all of this out eventually but I think we're gonna do most of our work out here for now because I want to watch stuff and it's kind of nice to watch stuff out here as I'm working on that. Let's go snag. Let's snag. What did, you know, when you walk in a room and you're like, why did I just walk in this room? Oh, we're grabbing some more of my whips. So I believe I thought, thought I had, some, oh, here they are. I stuck them in this Michael's bag. So this is even more partway finished 
projects. I'm trying to see, do I have anything else? I want to grab a, <laughs> let me show you this. This is kind of the vibe right now. This is just all stuff. I mean, I could grab these if I have time. I have time. Ooh, okay. Well, these are chicken bodies. I'm gonna grab them just in case, but my goal is to do more of the holiday stuff right now. And if we have time to finish some of the chickens and things like that, I think those will sell well at my event I have coming after the retirement home. But the retirement home, I'm really trying to focus on the trees and snowmen if I can. I brought my bag of whips out here. I also have all of my whips sitting here on my table. So the plan I think First is actually just sit down and make a small tree from start to finish and time myself and then make a medium tree from start to finish and time myself and see how long I can whip these trees up because that is gonna be incorporated into our prices for the trees. I like to do this because I like to pay myself a hourly wage for actually crocheting and then we do end up making some more profits on top of that and we'll end up covering those other costs in our business and making more profit. But right now we just wanna see how long it actually takes us and we wanna see how much yarn it actually takes us so we can include that into our price as well. So we are going to sit down and do that, but I think before, I know it's kind of early for this in the vlog, but I, th I think I need a chai latte because I'm a little bit dragging today. I feel like the holiday overwhelm has been no joke. Again, I sold way more than I thought at my last vlog. And by the way, if you want to see that vlog, I will link it for you in the description box if you want to check it out after this video, but uh, I sold so good at that market and now I'm so limited on things. I have one snowman left and one tree left. So, Grandma, ah, I don't want to let Grandma down. She's been hyping it up to her friends that I'm going to have all the trees and all the snowmen. So, okay, well, let's make a chai at first, and then we're going to cozy up with Alice here. Hi. <laughs> She's already cozied up, but we are going to cozy up with Alice and start picking up some trees, timing myself and weighing the materials. I'll show you all the behind the scenes on how I like to do that so we can come up with a fair price for not only us, but for our customers as well. And yeah, then we can work on finishing some more products and actually getting through and getting a lot of them done. But I'm really curious to see what the price points are going to be at right now. And yeah, let's go make a chai. I wanna welcome you to my channel. My name is Cameron and I make content all about helping you make more money selling crochet, specifically selling at craft shows. I love craft shows. I do a lot of these market prep vlogs and I also do a ton of market vlogs where I actually vlog me at the event and I show you lots of behind the scenes, tips and tricks, all the things. So I just wanna invite you to subscribe if you haven't already because I have a ton of fun videos coming up and we would love to have you here in our community. We have a amazing group of handmade business owners. We love to support each other in the comments section. So introduce yourself in the comments section if you're new here. I just made myself my chai tea latte. I am going to give it a little to stir, but now that we have a chai, and if you're new here, you do need to know this about me. I am obsessed with Hello Kitty and chai, and you can probably already tell, but also my dog. <laughs> so those are really the only things you need to know about me besides my obsession for all things yarn and crochet. <laughs> okay, let's give a little chai tea taste test before we get started making the trees. That's a good chai right there. <laughs> I'm snuggling up on the couch. I have got my yarn. I'm using the Wool East Thick and Quick in Fisherman to do some white trees. I've been doing a lot in the colors that succulent and kale. I love that. I love that this yarn is just called kale. <laughs> okay, so we got succulent, kale. Now I'm gonna add in some Fisherman to just I don't know, even those three together would be really pretty. So that is what I'm using. I'm also using one of my furls hook. It's a nine millimeter crochet hook, one of my favorites. Actually, all my furls hooks are my favorites. They kind of switch between, I would have actually probably prefer to use my glitter hook, but I've kind of lost track of that one. It's, it's around here somewhere, but uh, you know, anyone else just lose their hooks all of the time? Here, Alice, come here. Are you gonna help? Oh, come here, oh. She's gonna sit up there and bark. That is her way of helping. So I'm super curious, do you use your patterns digitally or do you print them out and like having a physical copy of your patterns? I personally like doing it digitally and I store them all in Notion. I'll chat more about Notion later actually when we talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare, but 
Notion is amazing. If you haven't got Notion yet, uh, what are you what are you doing? You need it. You need it if you want to stay organized in your handmade business. I mean, you don't need it, but it is super duper helpful. So I actually store all of my patterns in Notion. So I'm going to pull that up right now. So I just pulled up the tree pattern. I am going to start with the small size. So what I like to do is, well, first we got to put something on the TV. I have been watching the worst Christmas movies, like the cheesiest Christmas movies you could possibly, possibly imagine. I've been watching, <laughs> what are some of the titles? Dear Santa. Oh, the, the one I watched the other day, Hats Off to Christmas. And it was about somebody who owned a Christmas hat shop. And she, I don't, you know, all the plots are all the same with these Christmas movies, but I'm still a sucker for all of them. I literally just pull up the clock on my phone and I go over to stopwatch and I'm just gonna hit play as soon as I hit play on my movie, which I'm gonna watch Christmas in the Smokies. It's from 2015. It says Christmas in the Smokies is a modern Christmas classic set in the Smoky Mountains. It tells the story of a family's journey to save their historic berry farm against all odds during one fateful holiday season. It sounds like the plot of like 95% of these Hallmark movies, but you know what? We're going to watch it anyways. So I'm going to hit play here, then hit play on my movie, sit down, make the small size with you. I would love for you to guess in the comment section right now how long you think the small size is going to take. Just for reference, this one isn't completely finished, but I will be timing myself completely finishing, which means I'm filling it. I'm going to even add the star, all the things, how much time it takes me to make one tree. This is a small size. So how long do you think this is going to take me? If I'm going to make a guess, I'm going to guess 30 minutes. I don't know, maybe more, maybe more. Atlas, if you hear a little grumbling, she is really mad at people outside just living their lives. She likes to sit here and get angry at them. So she's going to be angry. We are going to watch our Christmas movie and crochet a small tree. Let me know. Comment down below how long you think it's going to take me. I'm going to guess 30 minutes, hopefully. It's about 30 minutes. Okay, let's do it. minutes. I'm actually really impressed. It was that quick. Were you impressed with that speed? No? Okay. Oh, now I'm going to make the next size up, which is the medium size. So if this took me 15 minutes, I'm going to guess the medium is going to take me about 25 minutes, but I don't really know. I really impressed myself with this one. So let me know what you think. What are your thoughts? What do you think the medium size? It's a few more rows, so it's a bit bigger, but I don't know. We will see. I'm going to do that. Don't you love the little stars I put on top? I get these off of Amazon in bulk and they are super, super cheap. So I will link those in the description box. She doesn't have those on hers. Uh, MJ's off the hook, but I like to add them on mine. It just kind of it's a little cute finishing touch, kind of gives that rustic look. They are a little, little pointy, so just be careful. And they're pretty dirty, but they're really cute on top. I am going to now make the next size, time myself, and keep watching my movie. <laughs> and then we will move on to the next step, which is going to be determining how much materials we have on the trees so that we can get a good price for them. I'm so excited. Oh, this is actually really exciting that it took me this long to whip up because now I think I have some time to make some more of these before my event. First tree is done. We're gonna work on the second one now. And I wanted to show you, I actually, my camera died. So I had you plugged in for a second and I actually <laughs> worked on some stuff. I was finishing up. I mean, look, these guys need their little, what is it called? I wanna say crown, it's not what it's called. I forget, their little thing on their head. I got some snowmen in the works and some trees, but we still have a ton more stuff to finish. I don't know. We're all over the place. Alice is being 
so cute and so sweet up here in a little ball. But as I was getting through all of this, all of my whips, I found, wait, where did it go? My glitter hook. So I finished my movie and some of these things that I just showed you because my camera died and I wanted to work on this second tree with you. So now we're gonna do that. I think I'm gonna move into the craft room. I sometimes just like to change the space I'm working in because sometimes I just get, I don't know, like, I feel kind of lazy just sitting in the same spot all day, especially when I'm crocheting all day. So just changing the scenery a little bit. So we're gonna move into the craft room. Alice is gonna stay and watch my stuff in here. So we are gonna go into the other room. I've got my yarn, I got my glitter hook. We are going to make our way into the craft room. How's that? How are you, how are you feeling there? Okay, you feel good there? All right. <laughs> start and start. Crocheting. I try to, when I'm timing myself, go pretty quick, but I don't try to overwhelm myself because you're not gonna be crocheting at maximum speed every time you make something in your business. As long as you aren't getting distracted as soon as you set the timer, like don't set your timer, do a couple rows and then go to the dishes, come back, do a couple rows. Like we wanna make sure we're timing ourselves actually making the items. So one second, I'm counting. Six, seven. Eight. And we want to time ourselves with our average pace, right? Because that is going to be what we crochet at most of the time. And so we want to price things according to that. So that is what I'm going to be doing for this tree. I feel like sometimes if I mess up a couple rows and I have to frog it, I try not to include that time in the in the time as well. So I try to just do, you know, from start to finish, and that includes assemblies. That includes when I add this polyfill, when I add the star on top. I want to make sure I'm including that in all of my time as well. That is time that I'm designating towards making this product, and even though it's not directly crocheting, that is still time that needs to count in my pricing. And I think I actually might put on a podcast this time. Sometimes I love watching movies and I love cuddling up on the couch, but sometimes I just need to change where I'm working at, especially because I work from home all the time. And if I'm in the same place for too long, I don't know, I feel like I start to feel kind of lazy and sluggish and I just want to make sure that I'm productive. So I am actually going to pop on a little podcast right now as I am working on timing myself for this tree. And then we will touch base and see how long this took me and move on to weighing out our materials so that we know what to actually charge for our trees. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I'm doing this. I feel like when I had to come up with my pricing, I overthink it and I think it's going to be harder than it actually is. Like with my pricing calculator, it is so easy. It sounds like it would be a nuisance to get the weight of your yarn and how much you're actually using, but I promise you it's not a big deal at all and it is so worth it. You only have to do it the one time too and then you have a price that you know you can be confident when you're selling that product that you're making a good profit off of it and it's a great price for your customers that is what i love about my pricing calculator we'll chat more about it in a little bit but i think i'm gonna pop on a podcast continue crocheting away i am going to pause my timer we've been crocheting for about four minutes i'm gonna pause that because i don't want me searching for a podcast to count as my tree time and pay myself for that i want to pay myself we're just making this tree. So we will touch base here in a second. this one would take me. So it took me about 24 minutes. So we got 24 minutes for the medium size and for the little size, it took me just 15 minutes. So that was super quick. And honestly, this 
in 25 minutes is pretty quick because it looks, you know, it's big, you know? I'm excited to finish up some more of these, but first I wanna just work on getting our prices ready for these. These are gonna be the only two sizes that I offer this year just cause I'm running out of time. There are larger sizes in the pattern. I have done the bigger size one above this and sold them and they do sell really well as well. If you do have the time, of course, that will have a whole different price to it, but we are going to actually weigh these and we're not gonna weigh it like this, I, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you what we're gonna do, but we're gonna determine how much yarn we actually used for both of these and how much polyfill that we used by weighing it. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna plug everything in the pricing calculator. So I'm so excited. I actually just use one of these one of these shipping scales and it's super super handy to have if you do a lot of shipping in your business as well for me i don't do as many online orders anymore but it comes in handy for weighing out my yarn it's a little later in the day i actually ran to meet with a friend of mine for a little coffee date i was running so late so i scrambled over there and then now i'm back home and i'm getting ready to have my friends over i'm a little bit bummed because i feel like i didn't have as much time today to prep as I would have liked. When I was on my coffee date, I did whip up a medium tree and a small tree so that we can weigh how much yarn we need for these. That way we can plug them in to our materials and all of the things. So we are gonna do that right now. So first thing is gonna grab my scale. Turn that baby on. Super duper easy. All we gotta do is weigh how much yarn it takes before we add the polyfill. So we have 88 grams for the large, 58 grams of 88 and 58 grams for the weight of the yarn. Now we are going to stuff the trees and see how much more it weighs with the stuffing. And that's how we'll be able to tell how much polyfill goes in there. So after stuffing the small tree, we're at 76 grams. The medium size, we are now weighing it to see how much polyfill we added. So now we're at 118 grams. So the small, we had it at 58. How many grams of yarn we had at 58? 18 for grams of polyfill. So 58 for grams of yarn, 18 for grams of polyfill. For the medium, we had 88 and then we had 30 grams of polyfill. So these numbers are going to be really important to know when we plug everything into our pricing calculator. So for now, I'm actually going to finish getting ready for my friends to come over. I ended up putting everything that was in the living room in this room. I put it all in this bag that could fit and then there's more stuff back here. So the plan is we are going to have my friends over. I might be able to finish a couple of projects while they're over and just be able to spend time with them, maybe crochet a little bit, prep some more stuff if I can. My number one priority is seeing my friends and doing Secret Santa with them. So I will try to vlog a little bit of that for you as well. The plan is tomorrow I am meeting with a new coach. I, I actually met her at a craft show and she's an entrepreneur coach. I've been meeting with her a lot recently. She's helping me out so much much with getting organized in my business. So I'm meeting with her tomorrow morning. And then after meeting with Annie Mae, I have some time that I'm going to try to finish a lot of these products because after tomorrow, there'll be only one more day until the show. My friends are coming over really soon and I still need to run to the store because I wanna grab some stuff to make little mocktails, little Christmas mocktails. So we're gonna, Peyton and I are gonna run to the store right now, grab that stuff. And then by the time we get back, my friends are probably already going to be over. So the next time you see me, is probably going to be tomorrow when we have more time to sit down. I think we are going to do all of the pricing tomorrow and then we're going to just bust out and finish a ton of these products, get them tagged, get them priced and all ready to go for Saturday. So I am so excited to see my friends, but I'm also really excited to get this stuff done. I know I'm gonna have time tomorrow though, so I'm just gonna try to enjoy it this time with my buddies, but I will talk to you soon. I'm so excited to do Secret Santa. I wonder who got me for Secret Santa. I got Cassie. I'm just saying that because I know that now if Cassie's watching this video, it is already after the fact. So this is Cassie's Secret Santa gift. Um, <laughs> the ornament is not included as just part of our tree in there. I got her, well, I made her these super cute coasters. We used, they're super cute. And then I also did these washcloths with this really pretty 
uh, multicolored yarn. So these are little washcloths for their apartment. I got her this little mug. And then this is a candle that looks like a coffee. It says oh, spiced hot toddy. It smells so good and it's actually a candle. So I thought that was super cute. And I got her this little thing. It's a little coffee, iced coffee. She likes coffee. And then I got this little salted caramel macaroon set as well in this really pretty basket. So that is Cassie's secret Santa gift. That is what I'm giving her. I love doing gift baskets. If you can't tell, we've got like other stuff, other people's gifts back here. But anyways, look at these stockings that I did. They're crocheted and I also have my tree ornament on our tree and I crocheted this star topper. So super cute. I'm excited to see my friends. Oh, and this is just adorable. next day it is about what time is it it's about two o'clock wait what the heck today is going by so fast <laughs> i just kind of feel like it's been a long week i'm feeling really motivated but energy wise i'm just like i just want to veg which is actually really nice because we are going to price our our trees and then we're going to move on to just hanging out and trying to prep as many things as possible. So I'm super excited looking forward to that because tomorrow is a show. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but I had so much fun with my friends last night for Secret Santa. My friend Amanda had me for Secret Santa. She got me this super cute top to work out in at, uh, we do our spin classes. Super cute, I really love the color. And then she also got me this book. It's called, we've been talking about it. It's called Verity. The gal that does my hair recommended I try out a Colleen Hoover book. So I'm trying to get into more fiction books. I read a lot of self-help books, a lot of business books, but I just want to read something that's kind of just for fun. So my friend got me this. It was really sweet of her. So I'm so excited to read that. I am going to pull up my pricing calculator. Can you tell I'm in my little cozy clothes right now? Because it is super chilly here and I think something's going on with our heat because it is really, really cold in here. So I've got like a space heater out and I'm all snuggled up. But anyways, I am going to pull up my pricing calculator and then I'm gonna screen record you on my desktop. Have you right here and I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna go through and price my trees. It's gonna be a super duper quick process. So I'm so, so excited because I just wanna make sure I'm making enough for my time. And I love using my pricing calculator because it's really fun to plug and play things in there. So let's do it. I've got you screen recording here and I wanna walk you through how I use my pricing calculator. It's literally gonna take us like two minutes to do this. We're gonna use the really basic functions, but there's a ton that you can do on here, but just for this video. Uh, if you want to see me going into more details on the pricing calculator, I actually have a full video on it. Let's do it really, really quickly. Material. It's the wool is thick and quick. So there is about 170 grams in one skein of the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. So I'm gonna put that over there and then I put in what I would pay for it full price. Now I've been getting a pretty good killer deal on it recently, but I'm gonna put in full price what I would pay for it just because I like to include what the full price is in case I don't get it on sale. I just wanna make sure I'm making enough for my time. And when I do get it on sale, it's just an extra bump in my profits. I put in the full price there, quantity needed. So that's just gonna depend on our size. Quantity needed for the small size was 58 grams. So that means it's $3.07 for the small size in yarn alone. Now we do need to do the polyfill. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to snag the full price. So I'm gonna go back over here. For five pounds, I spent $34.99. I wanna know how many grams are in here instead of how many pounds. So I'm just gonna do a little quick conversion. So this is how many grams total we have. It's a lot. 2,000. Oh, I'm pretty much, I'm just gonna round up because there we go. Now we're gonna see how many that we used in the small. So out of 
that many grams. We used 18 grams, which is 28 cents, <laughs> but we want to include that into our price. So there we go. And we also added a star on top. So I'm going to write star here. How much I spent on my stars here on Amazon. I spent $11.99 on a total of 100 of them. So we're going to go back to the calculator. We spent $11.99. There was a hundred total and we only need to add one which is 12 cents. So the total cost for making this tree in materials is $3.46. That's actually really, really awesome. Keeping those costs down is super great because that means we can give a more affordable price to our customers and also just make enough for our time. Really pumped about that. Costs us $27.99 for a pack of 100. And sometimes your customers don't want a bag. So usually I just say, let's just estimate half the people want a bag for this. So it's gonna be another 14 cents included into our costs. That way we are covering all of these costs in our business and not just the materials because it's really important to cover other costs as well. Put in whatever your card reader takes, but my card reader square takes 2.6% and also an additional 10 cents per transaction. So we've got that being included into our cost now as well. Average booth fee, I would say mine's about 60. Average items sold, I'm just going to put in 50 there. So that is going to include into my cost. Now I do have a section down here where you can do all of this again for your packaging. You won't have to do your materials again, but what you do is you add in all of your website information because those costs are going to be a little bit different than your craft show costs, especially if your website, you're on Etsy and they're taking more of a fee or there's a shipping cost you want to include in there or mailers that you're gonna use or any promotional materials that you add in. We're gonna add all of this down here and it will break down that price separately for you down here. Just making sure you're profiting both at craft shows and online. For me, I'm only selling at craft shows right now, so I'm only gonna utilize the craft show price section. So I'm gonna come back up here and this is where it gets super duper fun. This is my favorite part. So I'm gonna say hourly wage here. I usually put 15 as kind of my minimum that I wanna make an hour. And as far as my time, this only took me, we wanna put in minutes here, it only took me 15 minutes. That means I want to, if I want to make $15 an hour, I need to charge another $3.75 along with my material costs and along with my other costs of my business. All of this is going to start calculating and breaking down for you in this breakdown section, which is super nice because you can see where your costs exactly are, especially on this chart. That's my favorite part. I love visual aids like this. So it's also letting us know that if we sell this tree for $8.55, we would be making $3.43. That's after the card fees are taken out. That's after our material costs are taken out. This is how much we would actually be making if we charge this much. This is so important because I feel like a lot of us, I, I definitely used to do this. I would just charge whatever. And I just thought, okay, I, you know, spent maybe this much on yarn, maybe like $2. Okay. So I'm making money. It doesn't matter, but it's really good to know exactly how much you're making so that you know how much you can discount without losing money so that you can do sales at your shows. And and you can offer really good deals to your customers without feeling like you're going to lose money on it. That is why I absolutely love a good price breakdown like this. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to throw in the product name, which is a small tree markup. This is where I love to add an additional markup. Now this is optional, but if you want to sell consignment or if you want to look into selling wholesale, then you need to be adding an additional markup so that you make sure when they're selling your products, like for example, consignment, if they're taking 30, percent that you're still profiting for your time and you're also covering some of those other expenses in your business as well so i personally like to start at a 30 percent markup if i can and from there i will play around at a 30 percent markup we're at 11 12 to charge so 11 dollars and 12 cents and with that additional markup we would be making six dollars pretty much almost six dollars of profit every time that sells. So that includes the markup and that also includes our time for labor because we are the ones making it. Now, if you were hiring that out, that would be another cost. If you were hiring somebody to crochet for you $15 an hour, but I'm just assuming that most of us are crocheting all these products ourselves. That is all going to be money that you are earning, which is super awesome. So I'm going to swing up here and I'm actually going to add a little bit more of a markup because I feel like I could charge a little bit more for these trees. I'm going to try doing a 50% markup. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is about where I'm thinking. We're at about $13 here now. I usually try not to charge like 13 because it just seems like a weird number. I would either do 12 
or 14 at this point. Honestly, I think I could probably, I don't know, they're kind of little. Let's do 12. Let's do $12 for now and we will be able to still make a profit off of that. I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna do like a 40% markup. And yep, that's about $12 that we would be charging. That's what I'm gonna do. And that means I'm making about $6.76 each time one of these little trees sell. And remember, they only take me 15 minutes to make. So that is pretty, it's pretty awesome. That's, that's pretty good right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you really quickly how we're gonna determine this for the large size. And it's gonna be literally so, so quick, so, so easy. All we gotta do is duplicate this page because pretty much this, the Wooly Stick and Quick, same yarn. We just have a little bit of a different number that we need. We need 88 grams for this. So the cost is gonna bump up a little bit. And the polyfill, we're actually gonna need 30 grams. So that cost is gonna bump up a little bit. And then we also have just one star on there. So that's just gonna stay the same. Everything down here, I'm just gonna keep the same. That's all gonna get included into our price. And then up here, we are going to keep $15, but we're gonna change it to how long this tree took us, which was 25 minutes. And just to see what we would be making without a markup, if we go down here, if I was just paying myself hourly, I would be making $5.82 every time a medium tree sells, and I would be selling it for about $13. Now I'm going to add a markup. So let's try 30 just to get started with. I just wanna see. Okay, so we're about $16.67, so about $17. Honestly, I think I could probably do 18 for these. I think I was doing 20 for them, so I'm gonna actually try and mark it up even a little bit more. So let's try 50. It's so fun. It's so fun to plug and play all these numbers. I get so nerdy about it. And I get so excited seeing how much I'm actually profiting over here when it breaks it down for you. All this in green. That's all money we're making. That's so, so good. So you can see it getting broken down here. We've got material costs. That is a pretty big chunk. And the booth feeds in there and the card fees are in there, but it's not a ton. It's mostly our material costs there. That's 26%, but we're over 50% of our price is actually profit. If we did a 50% markup on these trees, we actually sell them for about $19.24. I would round that up to about $20 and we would be profit about $12. So that's super awesome. Uh, so excited. I think I've decided on my prices for these trees. So I'm going to shoot for the small tree being at, wait, what was it? This is why you this is why you copy your pages and you save all of this. We are going to charge $12 for the small trees. And then on the larger or the medium trees, we are going to be charging $20 and we're making about a $12 profit. So, so excited for that. They whip up so quick. They're so fun to make. And I can't wait to make all of these for my event. And now I feel confident in my prices. But like that's a huge, huge reason why I can show up and sell at these things and be confident behind my prices because I actually know I'm making enough for my time. It's so, so important. Not only that, but we're making more on top of that, which is so, so cool. So let's move on to finishing up some of our products. We're gonna get cozy and we're just gonna be really productive. So. Can't wait. So I brought all of my stuff back out to the living room. I don't know why I'm just vibing with it out here. I want to set up some stuff to watch here and it just, I have more room in here. I've got chicken bodies. I've got trees. The trees are definitely my priority. I definitely want to get those done. I've got some snowmen that kind of second on priority list and a lot of chickens that I want to finish as well, especially since I have that other show on the 20th. There's those. These trees are pretty much done. They need their stars added. These guys are almost ready. And then we've got some more that need faces <laughs> kind of just different levels of being completed i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to sit down and start with the trees and just getting those finished and that way i can just get all the trees finished i know what i'm going to price them at and i can go through and tag them all but yeah i just want to get those all finished first and then probably moving on to snowmen and then if i have time i do want to make some of these chickens at least finish these three here they're almost ready <laughs> they're so cute okay so let's do it i am gonna get you all comfy right here i'm getting all comfy and cozy. I've got my, my comfies on. Alice is here next to me. I've got so many trees that I want to finish up. But before I do, I am going to pop on a Skillshare video and watch it as I'm working. Recently, I have been putting on Skillshare videos so that I can feel really motivated and inspired as I'm market prepping, just because the market prepping can be kind of repetitive. And there's only so many bad Hallmark movies that you can watch before you get a little bored. I have been diving into so many classes. As I sat down and popping this on, I thought it'd be the perfect time to thank the sponsor of today's video.
video, which is Skillshare. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare is actually the largest online learning community for creatives. I really love all of the classes that Skillshare has to offer. And right now I am in the middle of taking this class called Notion for YouTube Creators, easily manage your creative projects. And like I mentioned before, I am obsessed with Notion, especially with getting organized in my business. So I am so pumped to finish this. I've already learned so much and it's just helping me get so organized in my business, especially moving in to the new year. This is just something I really like to do, watch these videos as I'm market prepping already because I feel like I'm being extra productive. So far, I have learned so much more about Notion and about databases and all the cool things that you can do within Notion. Skillshare has a ton of Notion videos, so I can't wait to take other ones after this class. I literally felt like this class was made for me, especially with creating more YouTube content recently. I've been getting so overwhelmed and this is just a great way to set up a system that's actually going to work for me in my business. They're showing me actually how to use the databases in Notion because it can feel kind of complicated, but she's walking us through it step by step by step. And there's just so many things you can do in Notion, but she's making it really easy. Class has been so awesome. It's actually one of my favorite classes I've taken on Skillshare so far, but they're all super good. I have not had any complaints. I love these classes. If you're a small business owner watching this, I really think you're going to love Skillshare. Even if you just crochet as a hobby, there are so many skills that you can learn on Skillshare. It's honestly mind blowing how much they have available on there. You know, I just got this brand new camera. I've been and learning the settings, I looked up and there was literally videos on the exact camera I bought. I was so impressed. So if you're looking for ways to level up in your career or even start a new side hustle, Skillshare has classes in freelancing, entrepreneurship, marketing, social media, productivity, and more. If you wanna try out Skillshare today, I have a really special offer for you. The first 500 people to use my link will get a one free month trial of Skillshare. I will stick my special link in the description box down below so you can go try out Skillshare right now for free. I'm actually so, so pumped to finish this. I've been really looking forward to setting this up in my Notion for 2024 and just getting everything organized. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I I am going to pop on this video, crochet some trees, hang out with you, and we're going to learn. We're gonna hang out together. We're gonna make all the trees. It's gonna be so good. So let's do it now. Here's some more stuff I need to finish up. Trees, chickens that need their little comb. I've got trees that need their stars. We've got snowmen that need faces and hats and all sorts of things. So this is what my little workstation, which is just my couch, is looking like at the moment. I've got Alice here who has just been such a sweet little buddy throughout the whole process. <laughs> I've got my big bag of polyfill. I've got scraps of yarn. I mean, we just had the whole cozy vibes going on. I'm still watching my Notion video. Plan will be I finish up most of the things. If there's any finishing touches, like adding the stars, adding the combs, things like that, and tagging, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow just because it's already getting a little bit late. Not really late, but it's like four o'clock. I feel like finishing this stuff up tonight it might not happen. What I'm gonna do is do it tomorrow because the event doesn't start until noon. So I'm gonna have time in the morning. I'm not super stressed out about it. Perfect timing. Peyton just got home and I'm finishing up here. I try to get most of my work finished up before he gets home so we can spend time together. But part of that is when we're watching our movies, sometimes I'm crocheting as well. But anyways, I will touch base with you really, really soon. Okay, so it is Saturday and that 
that means today I have my show at my grandma's retirement home. I'm so excited. I'm actually feeling really good because we have a few hours until we go and set up. It's just a little quick table set up. The show is literally two hours. It's so quick. It's gonna be so much fun. And my grandma is just so, so excited. And I'm excited now because I think we'll be able to finish up some trees and some snowmen. Chickens don't have their, their combs and it wasn't really a priority for this show because a lot of them already have my chickens there. Grandma's already sold them my chickens there. So I am actually going to leave these in this box for now and work on these for my next show next week. But for today, I definitely want to make sure I have those trees and those snowmen to bring. We're gonna go into the craft room and we're gonna finish them up. I'll kind of show you where I'm at in the process, but we need to get them finished and we need to get them tagged today. So I'm so, so excited. Let's go do it. So we're in the craft room. Ignore the little bits of messes going on back here. I feel like I say that in every single vlog, but between vlogs, I work on a million different projects and I'm actually working on, I really hope she doesn't see this because it's before Christmas. I'm working on a quilt for somebody really special. I guess I just won't say who it is yet, but that is kind of a project I'm working on back here. And yeah, I have one tree done. <laughs> Let's go through and start adding the stars to my trees. I'll show you here. Actually, these two are the last ones I need to finish the bottom of. So I'm gonna have to sew those shut. This bag here is full of trees. So a lot of mediums and some smalls. So I just need to add the stars on top, which shouldn't take long at all. I've got my stars sitting here. I've got my glue gun plugged in. So we are gonna just start attaching the stars and then we'll move on to the snowman and then we'll move on to tagging. So I'm trying to kind of get through this as quick as possible. I feel like I never plan well for finishing products. I always think it takes less time. Like <laughs> pretty much I thought this vlog would be filmed in one day. I thought I was gonna film it on, what day did I even start filming this? Two days ago on Thursday, I thought I was just gonna film it and be done. No, this has been a three day process, but I don't know if you can relate to this. Just this time of year, there's so many social things and holiday things and I love it, but it's just like, it's so hard to fit in market prepping. And so it's just kind of your reminder, you have to fit it in whenever it works for you and your schedule. And recently I've just been having these short spurts of time to market prep and I've been taking advantage of it. And that is when I've been vlogging. And the other times I've just had so many social things or actually going out to eat later tonight to celebrate Peyton's birthday on his dad's side of the family. So we are gonna be doing that, which will be really fun, but it's just another, another social thing. So I'm just trying to make sure I can fit in this prep as much as I can especially during busy times of the year like right now so or right, let's add the little stars here is the stars that I like to add to the trees there's that little hole on the bottom and what I do is I add like a dollop of glue right here and I just put it on the top of the tree now I use hot glue they do stay pretty well but if you have any other ideas of how to attach these let me know I've tried using thread and attaching them that way and it doesn't really work out that well but anyways these are so so cheap on Amazon I will link the ones I get in the description box if you want to snag some for your trees as well I feel like it adds a really cute rustic finishing touch I've sold the trees without the stars before as well because sometimes I run low on the stars or I run out not all of them have the stars on top and I'm just gonna say it right now the ones with the stars sell much, much better. I'm kind of like shoving it into the project so that you can't really see the glue as much. I hate being able to see the glue. You'll be able to see it a little bit. I'll show you here in a second. I just like to let it dry like this. And then there we go. The star is added. You can see it on the back a teeny tiny bit up there, but honestly, I still think it looks really cute. My customers don't seem to mind. So that is how I've been attaching them. It's just super quick and super easy. I'm gonna attach the star to all of these here, lay them out and get them ready for tagging. Peyton is actually not working today because it's Saturday. And I think I'm gonna try to get him to help us with tagging today. So we will see, we will see if he is willing to help. I'm sure he is. <laughs> I'm actually kind of stressed on time now that I now that I have to tag as well, but we've got this. We're gonna, we're just gonna do this really quick. Add the stars. I do have some snowmen I wanna finish as well. I have this bag of snowmen and all they need is their cinnamon stick arms added. Some of them don't have hats because I ran out of the yarn to do hats. So some of them just aren't gonna have hats or bows and we're gonna see if they sell.
of, well, not all of them. Here are a few of the trees. And then I have more of them over here. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 over here. And then we got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 trees. I'm actually pretty proud of that. So grandma, please don't be disappointed. I tried as hard as I could to make as many trees as I possibly could. So we're gonna grab a little chai, take a little breather, come back. Peyton said he would help me tag all of my products. So definitely the trees and the snowmen, get them all packed up, ready to go. And I'll probably take a couple clips of my booth there at the event as well. It's only a two hour show and it's really small. It's at my grandma's retirement home. So I really wanna try to spend a lot of time with her, but I do wanna give you a little behind the scenes look of what I do with a really, really quick display. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's, let's do it. We're on our way to grab a chai latte because I just need a little treat. I need a little something to give me a little energy before the show. Now that I'm thinking about it, we could have just tagged the stuff and then grabbed the chai on the way. <laughs> it's okay, we're already on our way to go get chai. We're just going, I just need to get out of the house for a second. Sometimes I feel like I'm home all the time because I work from home and it's just a lot. It's a lot and I'm already a little bit behind on things. I do feel good about catching up on the trees and the snowmen, so I'll have that. And I am excited for this quick little show, but I'm more nervous for the other shows and my Christmas coming up and just the New Year's coming up and just kind of all of it. So a chai should solve like half of those problems probably. Lucky for us, we were super lazy last time after last week's event that we did. Actually, I did an event in a greenhouse and I did vlog that event if you want to go check it out after this one. But yeah, we left all of this stuff in here. <laughs> So we don't have to pack the cars again. So that's really good. I just need to grab all of my snowmen and my trees after tagging those, put them in the car and then we'll be good to go. So yeah, grabbing the chai and then tagging and then doing the show and then going out to eat tonight <laughs> with Peyton's family. So we've got a lot going on today, but it's gonna be good. Let's do a big, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You, have a good you too. Lots of trees, most of the medium trees in there. I think most of the small ones ended up fitting in here, but Peyton is gonna run those out to the car and then we're probably gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to remember my chai. And yeah, we're gonna go to the event now. Since this is at my grandma's retirement home, I wanna respect her privacy and not vlog a ton there. And then I will hop back and let you know how I did selling at a retirement home for two hours. I don't know, I've never done anything like this before. My grandma is so cute. She's already set up there with her booth of antiques. Even if I don't sell a lot at this market, at least it's all ready for my market on the 20th, which I have a feeling it is a little bit of a longer one. It's not even that long. I think it's like four hours. It might even be three hours, to be honest. It is not a long one either, but at least they're tagged for that one. And I think that one will have more traffic. I don't know. Sometimes grandma's friends kind of surprise me with how much they want to buy. So I will definitely keep you updated. We just got home from the show that I did at my grandma's retirement home. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so impressed with how much sold. I didn't vlog a ton of it just because I wanted to respect my grandma's privacy. It was at her retirement home. It was in their little library. It was so cute. There was like a food vendor, a tea vendor. My grandma had two tables of antiques and everybody loved her antiques. She has beautiful things. There was somebody else. Oh, and a soap vendor. It was so fun. It it was so sweet. It was just a short two hours. I'm not kidding you. We set up in 15 minutes. We got there 15 minutes before the show. We got all set up. My first sale was literally three snowmen and a tree before the event even started. It was a vendor neighbor. So I just thought that was so cute and so fun. I had to share that. Yeah, I feel good. I actually sold quite a bit of my trees and quite a bit of my snowmen. I was not expecting that. I thought, oh, I'm gonna set up. I'm just gonna visit with grandma. Like maybe a couple of her friends will buy stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not completely wiped out. I do have a few snowmen left. 
much and I do have quite a few trees my next market I will be vlogging so that event is gonna be super fun it's kind of like a mom group here in our area so I'm pretty excited to do that one because there's gonna be a lot of little kids so I'm gonna try to get those chickens prepped and ready for that one because I think those will sell really well there I do have some bees I'm working on some mouse snugglers from the mama made minis pattern so a few more things that I want to work on before that event but I will be vlogging that event that is on Wednesday so we have a few days that I get to prep for that and I'm also working on my Christmas gifts so much going on this time of year but I just wanted to thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's vlog I hope you were productive with me today and if you want to keep hanging out here on YouTube I would love to keep hanging out with you so I will see you my friend in this video right here bye